Hi, it's Sandra here from Creating Spain. There are basically two sorts of polish. There are your normal polishes, like this one, and then there are UV polishes, or UV LED polishes, as they are sometimes known, like this one. Now, the first sort of nail polish is the sort of thing that has been on the market for years, but there are different formulas. Some formulas, for example, will say gel look. This one happens to say gel look. Some of them will be labelled as gel polishes. But if it is a UV polish that needs a lamp to cure it, it should say that on the bottle. This one, for example, although it says it in Spanish, is a gel UV, as you can see possibly there. These are almost always in black bottles, sometimes, black, well, black or white bottles. Sometimes they are in coloured bottles, but the bottles are always opaque and you cannot see the product through them. The reason for that is because you do not want sunlight getting to your polish before you use it, because it solidifies with UV light. So you definitely want to keep that in a cool, dark place. This one, although I would also advise keeping it in a cool, dark place, is not UV activated. You can see through the glass bottle to whatever colour it may be. But as I said, this one does say gel look on it, but that does not mean that it is a gel UV polish. So don't buy them by mistake if that's what you are after. So if you pick up a UV polish like this, you will need a lamp to cure it. Now this one is a lamp that I use primarily for stamp making because I have a UV polymer gel to make my stamps for crafting. However, I can use it for nails if I wish. That's what it was designed for in the first place. And it has an on-off button, which has fallen, the thing has fallen off, so I just put a piece of sticky tape over it. And it has a 90 second timer, 120 second timer, and 180 second timer. Depending on the lamp, they will have different timers on it. The base is generally reflective, but I will take this out of here because it's going to cause problems with the camera. Now, mine is actually a UV LED lamp, and these are LEDs but it still gives off UV light, okay? Don't be under any misconception that it doesn't, it does. Normally for stamp making, I have these turned away like so, so that they face the outside of the lamp because they are just too strong if I have them all facing the other way. But for curing nail polish, I will have them facing the usual way that you would now the other types of lamps that you get have like a, a U-shaped tubular bulb in it and those are just UV bulbs. The difference between the bulbs, um, the UV ones are cheaper to purchase but in my experience they do not last as long and they are generally going to be weaker than these. This is three lots of 9 watt bulbs. I had, sorry, four lots of 9 watt bulbs. I had the same number of UV bulbs and it was nowhere near as powerful as this one was. So I've had these bulbs for, I think it's about nine months now. I haven't had to change them. The UV bulbs, I had to change after about every three months or so, they would start to lose the power. So, with a UV nail gel, what you will do is you will apply as per instructions. Now this particular one comes from Aldi. They sell them occasionally, but not all the time. And it normally retails in Spain for 6 95 I got this one for 5 euros, it being knocked down. But be aware when you're buying this, the one that I picked up here was still in its box and it still had the seal on it. The ones I still saw inside the shop today were still boxed but all the seals are gone and it was pretty obvious to me when I picked some of them up because I was looking at getting another colour that they had been opened, tested or used and then returned to the shop. 
and once it is opened you don't know what someone has done to it you don't know if they've used half the bottle because you can't see through it you don't know if they've left it with the cap off for a day and a half you have no idea so you would use this as instructed this particular one says that you do not need a base coat and you don't need a top coat and in fact i have a sample here and this is just one coat of the UV gel and this one says to cure it in a UV LED lamp for two minutes or if it's just a UV lamp, three minutes. I cured that for two minutes and it is as tough as could be. I have tried to scratch it, knock it or whatever and I basically can't damage it. So once you've actually cured it under the lamp you know, that's it, you're not going to scrape it off when you go in your handbag for your keys or something or if you've suddenly got to go out or you put on a pair of trousers with a zipper or something you're not going to ruin your polish and that to me is the main advantage of a UV gel polish Generally speaking, if I do a manicure on myself I don't leave it on for more than a couple of days because my nails grow so fast I get growth marks at the base of the nail and therefore I get annoyed with it and I remove it and either leave my nails bare or replace it whatever. So that is as I said the main advantage that this once it's dry that's it. This particular gel does not have a tackiness to it when it's cured it comes out exactly as you'd expect any other polish to be when it's dry, as in it's smooth and it's not sticky. There are quite a few of the gels meant for UV lamps on the market that say they have a sticky layer or a tacky layer. It's usually described as a tacky layer. And if it has that and you're not using it for a particular nail design and there are means that you would want that for. You can just wipe it over with a lint-free cloth and some rubbing alcohol and that will take the tacky layer off and it will just leave this shiny coat. But this particular one doesn't have a tacky layer. Why would you want a tacky layer? Well, you can buy special glitters and powders to put on top of nail polishes and you need a tacky layer for those to adhere and you brush them on, you buff them up and then you put on another top coat, a clear top coat to seal them in and that is why you would want a tacky layer to be in place. But I said this particular one doesn't have it so if you want a tacky layer don't buy this particular brand of polish. The other main difference with a UV gel is the way that you remove it. Now for a normal nail polish I would use something like this which is nail polish remover. This one happens to have acetone in it um, but a lot of them do not. A normal nail polish remover does not remove the UV gels. You want acetone to remove it or else you have to file it off. If you use acetone to remove it what you do is you get a piece of cloth or tissue or whatever soak it in acetone, put it on your nail, then wrap your nail up in metal foil or you can buy special little plastic clips to put over your nails, whatever. And then you have to leave it on for about 10 minutes and then you scrape off the old polish. So it isn't something that you normally take off quickly. However, there are polishes now which are made as base coats that are peelable base coats and therefore when everything is dried when you want to take it off you can literally peel it off. Now those will limit the length of time probably that your manicure will stay on for depending on how rough you are with it but it can be done and you can even get peel off UV gels as base coats if you look hard enough. The other alternative is to make your own peel-off base coat by using a PVA glue 
and you simply paint a PVA glue on your nails before doing the polish. That will have the same type of effect, but again, it may mean that your polish is not going to stay on more than a short time. Whereas, normally these polishes don't wear off, you wear them for two, maybe three weeks, and they should last for that length of time before they either chip or you have to remove them because of growth. So my nails just grow extremely fast, so I don't get more than a few days out of it. But that is the main difference, that they get hardened in a lamp. They will last much, much longer than a normal nail polish. You can't take them off as quickly. They are definitely more difficult to remove. And obviously that you are not going to damage your nails as soon as you've finished your manicure. So that to me is the main thing that I would want this for. So I could actually do my nails, go out of the house and think, okay, I'm gonna go out and I'm not gonna scratch it as soon as I go for my car keys or something. For anyone who's worried about using a lamp and what's it feel like, if you put your hand under here when it's on for a couple of minutes, it just feels pleasantly warm, particularly in the winter. <laughs> um, that's it. You shouldn't feel any discomfort. If you do, remove your hand from the lamp and tell your technician if you're having someone else do it for you. You can always put it in for a further cure if it needs to go back under. But you really shouldn't have any discomfort at all. It should just be pleasantly warm. And you come out and you take your nails out and you think, oh, do they look pretty? Once you've actually got your nails cured with the first layer of polish, you can go in with a second layer if you like, and you treat it in exactly the same way as you did the first layer. Uh, one thing to make sure of when you're using these polishes, however, is that you make sure that your nails are free from grease. So again, you can use an alcohol to swab your nails. And the other thing which is slightly different from a normal nail polish, if you get this where you don't want it to, if you get it on the skin around your nail, or you get it underneath your nail where you really don't want it, remove it before you cure it, because once you cure it, it's far more difficult to remove. So you can remove it with your normal nail polish remover or whatever before it's set, but once it's set, you're not going to remove it with that as easily, if at all. You may well just need to have pure acetone. So that's it. That is just the beginner's guide to UV nail polishes. Thanks for watching. Take care now. Bye-bye.